with all due respect, uh, I'm an old timer. I know how deeply frustrating it can be when you're sitting in the audience and somebody goes on for an hour and a half saying things that you find utterly, utterly loathsome, repulsive, and also you think factually incorrect. And uh, I, think, I think people should have more than 60 seconds. As I said, I'll leave it to the patience of the audience. When you feel it's going on too long, you know how to express your disapproval. Otherwise, they should be allowed to go on. Go ahead. Hi. Um, yeah. During your speech, you made a lot of references to Jewish people, as well as certain people in your audience, not Jewish people in general, but certain people, especially in your audience, to Nazis. Now, that is extremely offensive when certain people are German. And they're also extremely offensive to people who've actually suffered under Nazi rule. I don't respect that anymore. I really don't. I don't like and I don't respect the crocodile tears to, con to the crocodile tears. No. Uh, I'm so, folks, uh, allow me to finish. And allow me to, allow me to finish. Listen, sir. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Uh, sir, sir, I don't like to play. I don't like to play before an audience the Holocaust card. But since now I feel now that I feel compelled to, my late father was in Auschwitz. My late mother, please shut up. My late father was in Auschwitz. My late mother was in my Donna concentration camp. Every single member of my family on my father's side, on my father's side, the Jews did not take arms against the my Germans. My late father was in Auschwitz concentration camp. My late mother was in Maidana concentration camp. Every single member of my family on both sides was exterminated. Both of my parents were in the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. And it's it precisely and exactly because of the lessons my parents taught me and my two siblings that I will not be silent when Israel commits its crimes against the Palestinians. And I consider nothing more despicable than to use their suffering and their martyrdom to try to justify the torture, the brutalization, the dem demolition of homes that Israel daily commits against the Palestinians. So I refuse any longer to be intimidated or browbeaten by the tears. If you had any heart in you, you would be crying for the Palestinians, not for what she does. Can I just call the audience? <clears throat> I've never been in a crowd like this. They're nuts. Please, this, this, whoever came to this talk. I think it's pretty audacious when people try to play the Holocaust card with me. I think that's pretty nervy. What percent of the audience was opposed to me? About a quarter or a fifth? A quarter. And the girl in the dark t-shirt who was yelling about the anti-Semitism throughout the thing, she began to yell, uh, well, they're probably turning over in their graves right now. Sorry, my parents were alive throughout most of my struggle, and they totally supported me. That one won't work. It's not like I did about face in 1995 when my parents passed away. I've been doing this since 1982. They heard every word. I never heard an objection. 